Uh, oh, why can't I? That's obviously the in uh in insulin. Oh, fuck, you got it. Yeah, obviously it's insulin. You just asked an ex-diabetic an insulin What's up, ladies and gentlemen of Lol Cow Live? You're listening to the Lol Cow Live show this week. As always, it's just the cows. It's just me and Tommy and Jordy. Jordy, how are you doing, my friend? Fat and sassy, bud. Fat and sassy. Tommy, what's going on with you? Not as fat, but very sassy. Yeah, we just came off of the live show last night. Now, Keemstar called in sick, which uh, is translates to I am on an ATV with Brantley for the next four hours. <laughs> um, and <laughs> we ended up doing the show ourselves. And I'm just going to be honest with you, Tommy. I know it was late for you. You were tired. Mm. I think we nailed it. I think it was a good show. I liked it. I yeah. didn't hear any complaints. And I usually get complaints no matter what happens. Well, the Reddit, Honestly, the Reddit complained. Well, here's the thing. If this show doesn't get complaints, we're screwed because Mm. this is a love to hate it show, right? For a lot of people, a lot of people love to love it, but a lot of people love to hate it. If we're not pissing some of these guys off, we have been so boring that the show's dead. We got. Let me take a little responsibility. I was a little cold. I had just come in from a ten-hour drive, and uh, I just didn't have it like I normally have it. So if anyone's to blame me, and I know Boogie tried, or uh, excuse me, Wings tried to get me kind of going, but I wasn't, I wasn't like my raring to go. I did the best I could with a short notice. And I think we did a pretty good job under those circumstances. If it could have been better, that's my fault. So I'll take total responsibility for that. Fair yeah. enough. Yeah. I, I, here's what I do now. If it happens again, I'll be a lot like, I'll be a lot more. If I get more notice, I'll be a lot more. Prepared. Yeah, a little bit more warning um, yeah. is not going to hurt for anybody. All right. Yeah, sure. And I don't play Keem. You don't know when somebody's going to get sick. You know, it is what it is. I got a question for you, Wings. We were talking about it a little, little before. We might have talked about it before. I'm not sure. But if something always interests me, I, I run a drama channel, as you know. And I remember when some of your detractors started just like deleting their videos and like jump, running away, right? And, mm-hmm. um, and and just completely disappearing. And from, like, I guess the drama guy's perspective, we want to know what was really going on. And the name that popped up during everybody heading for the hills was Josh Moon, um, Kiwi Farms guy. And I don't know if somebody showed me this or they told me this. I guess he was complaining about your detractors. Do you know anything about that, Wings? Yes, I do. See, here, here's the thing, right? 2018, 2019, I, w- I was getting into my low caldom, right? Like I was, I was having meltdowns on stream. I needed to be medicated. I wasn't medicated. I was in a very dark place in my life. So what happened was I kind of got this whole like beehive of like detractors that came around me and they were on the spectrum, would you say? But Josh Moon came to do a story about me. He wanted to do a story about me on his podcast. So he went to the discords my detractors had set up for themselves. And he discovered that the people that followed me were worse than I ever could be. Of course. They went in there. Of course. They went in there. They called him the N word. They had, they, they were spazzy. They were doing like the dog whimper. Like (laughs) I'm only going to talk and it's only going to be civilized. If it's, I'm getting the cert. I'm getting the, surgery dude i'm getting it okay buddy yeah all right i'm sure okay you're a liquid richard you can go you, all right i'm out i'm looking here i'm looking listen all right i i, I, I let me talk mute them i love boogie to death i love boogie to death, and I, and you're boogie you're one of my inspirations you know that that's one of the favorite things to do when i'm around is their little dog whimper and he was, and you know, Josh Moon is an interesting guy. Instead of being like upset about it, he was like intrigued. Like, how are these people so much worse than the locale? So, like, he made his next like um, podcast strictly on what he's seen in the discords. And th- what happened was the people of Kiwi Farms took that and started doxing the troll channels and the people that were in the, uh, the discord at that time. Oh boy. So that's why I ran for the Hills. And a lot of them ran for the Hills. A lot of them like hooked up shot. I remember there was a guy called uh, Lord of the wings. He had, uh, I remember that uh, name. Yeah. Yeah. Lord of the wings. Like he, he went and he, he was like this black guy that was like 280 pounds 
and he would make side money rapping for like car lots and like banks and stuff like that in his local hometown and like they would like show that off and like i ended up talking to josh like privately and like he basically advised me like you should go out here and try to get these channels to pay you for using your content I'm like yeah i probably should and like the trolls had issues with that but like someone paid me like like liquid yeah, richard yeah. paid me uh, Mo- uh i think mooney paid me um lummox paid me for a while yeah um i, I think that's the three that paid me but a lot of some of them left like x bottles left or the winglings left wings teams v1 and v2 left well v2 died Oh really? When he died? Chucky died. Yeah, he died. He, he got. I think he was uh, into drugs. Overweight. No. Oh. <laughs> into drugs. He died. Oh, into drugs. Yeah. And oh. Wings V. Wings. Wing Tings V. Three's in prison. <laughs> wow. Oh, what, what, what is he in prison for? <laughs> uh, swatting me. Really? Yeah. 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 That's crazy. Yeah, this story. Uh, I think I've heard. Yeah. Yeah. This is well. You know what the craziest thing I did here, Boogie. Is I don't know if somebody showed me a screenshot because like I I have a well when I did news I did like uh, drama news for a while I don't do it anymore now it's it's a pain in the ass I'm sick of being a T crosser I daughter and uh, now I just joke around about everything and I don't know if it was a screenshot or somebody told me a story I can't remember which but I guess some of your tractors were in some kind of Discord chat room with Josh or some kind of chat room and the story goes like this they were kind of like being aggressive towards Josh and he pulled like the most baller move of all time. They, the, the story I heard is they were kind of, Hey, maybe we'll find out where you live. Maybe you'll get swatted. And he responded with his address. Yeah. <laughs> Come bring it. <laughs> As he knew. And that I heard is what sent everybody to the Hills after he did that. I don't know yeah. if that story's true. It's kind of a legend in kind of the shop from the point newsroom. But I always thought that was like the funniest thing I ever heard. He's like, oh, yeah, you want my ad? Here it is. <laughs> I think I hate my guts. I don't know why, but uh, I still think no, that's He doesn't hate you as much as he hates Keemstar. Like, I've talked to him about being on the show. And oh, really? He, I'd love that month. And, like, he, he actually likes you, but he hates yeah. Keemstar. Like, I even tried to reassure him, like, yo, Keemstar's not going to be there. It's going to be me, Tommy, and Boogie. It's a little, little private setting. He's like, but he's like, no, you fat retard. Um, Keemstar <laughs> runs the show. I don't want nothing to do with Keemstar, you know, because he, he's 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 not particular with how he uses words. He's not very socially inept. Yeah, <laughs> no, he is socially inept, is what you're saying. Um, no, I I I love to do it. I have a million questions for him um, and funny stories. Yeah, I, I think I think Josh takes himself a bit seriously. He's doing this for. He's got reasons for doing this. I'm just doing this for ha-ha. Yeah, I saw an interview yeah. a long time ago with Josh, and I could be misremembering this. You guys know how f-ing stupid I am. So, Josh, don't sue me. But I think I remember hearing a about an interview or reading an interview where Josh said, like, you know, we kind of keep track of everything everyone says online, right? And the people that are just kind of goofballs now, when as long as we're tracking this stuff, one day those people are going to run for office. One day those people are going to be important, and we're going to have <laughs> an doing, archive of every service. up thing they've ever said and done, and we'll be able to like influence the world. And I don't know if that is, was Josh's it's aim, true. or if he was just like waxing hip, uh, 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 like uh, philosophical Poetic. there or whatever. But yeah, he's yeah, not yeah. wrong. He's not no, wrong. Good. Everything like the the. The twenty-year-old kids that are posting stupid shit today are going yeah. to be the politicians of of tomorrow, twenty <laughs> years from now. So, uh, f- you be careful with what you post online, you f- idiots. And just because you think you're hiding behind an anime profile and it's anonymous, uh, Wings yeah. has proven that ain't true. Your ass can go to jail with that anime profile still showing. You know, it's funny. My my uncle's in Vietnam, and um, I guess they were they were doing something stupid with gasoline uh, when they were in Da Nang. And they actually lit some gas canisters on fire, right? And during this happened, they did receive some um, fire from the enemy, right? It was nowhere near where this the situation was happening, right? But my my uncle's buddy burned himself, and then he spent the, trying to put the fire out that he accidentally started, right? So that happened like during the firefight, and they were nowhere near it. And um, the uh, I guess one of the uh, the officers saw him putting the fire out, and he thought the fire came from the actual firefight, right? Where it erupted, and this guy heroically put it out while he was burned, and uh, they gave him a purple heart. 
<laughs> right? And my uncle, because he wasn't a snitch, said, is this what happened? My, you know, my uncle's like, roger that, right? And he know what he told him before he left? And they, get this. They sent him out of me a home. They gave him a purple heart. He got all his service time in. They told everybody, they told him he was a war hero. And my uncle said, if that guy ever ro- runs for office, I got him. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, so Josh is doing the whole world a favor, I guess. And you know what? Be honest with you, not, all three of us don't know belong anywhere near yeah. power. So. Oh, no, absolutely <laughs> but, not. Yeah. But to be fair, but what, what a, this kind of happened to that uh, that Supreme Court judge. What's his name? Um, the recent one where like he, they they were pulling girls from the party okay. out, and he's like, we oh, were young, we liked Thomas to drink is... beers. No, it's a white I dude. I liked beer. I liked beer. Yeah, yeah but that guy, they, they had no, the only, it was, everybody at the party wouldn't testify on her behalf, and most of the people said they didn't even recognize her. Yeah, you're talking about the last, yeah, to say that, yeah. yeah, there was nothing, there was nothing to that. That was a screw job. It was I'm just her saying, like, against, that's... And, and, yeah, the person that was supposed to testify on her behalf refused to do it because it didn't happen the way she said it did. <laughs> what was it? What was that guy's name? Kenneth something? I forget. He was like, I, I like, I like beer, I like beer. <laughs> that guy, I forgot his name. The last Supreme Court justice. You're right. I think Brett Kavanaugh. Yeah, that was that's who it was. But no, they didn't have they had nothing on him. That was a smear job. It didn't work. Uh, he's not no, the last no. one. The last ones. He was too. Co- it was Amy Coney Barrett, and now. Kid oh, that's Brown right. Two ago. Yeah, Jesus yeah. Christ, I'm getting old. I will say the one thing you can never recover from apparently is blackface, unless you're on Always Sunny in Philadelphia and you do it for you know like that reason. But or you're yeah. Jimmy Fallon. Oh yeah, well, Jimmy, not Jimmy Fallon. Fallon. Not Jimmy Fallon. Jimmy uh, Kimmel did it. Jimmy Kimmel yeah, Jimmy did. Kimmel. Yeah, yeah. Roddy Piper yeah, did, did it too. You ever see the Roddy Piper one? Yeah, I did. That was the dumbest <laughs> thing I ever saw. I'm the law, baby. I will have my fist up for black power. Yeah, I remember when I saw that when I was a kid. I was a kid when that happened. I was probably 12, 13. And I remember thinking back then, this would be about 89. He's going up against Bad News Brown. Was supposed to be, and he was supposed to be like the bad, evil black guy. You know, that was like the militant black guy. And um, he uh, uh, he. Um, you know, he did this. I remember thinking, I, I think, I don't know if this is going to go over like the WWF thinks it's going to go over. And it kind of did. Vince is a total <laughs> racist. To a point. <laughs> he's worse than that. Yeah, oh, he, yeah. He, he, he's a racist <laughs> and a racist. God. But, you know, like, 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 cause, like, look at some of the people like he goes out there. Like, like you, have, you have a black guy that's a pimp. You got Kamala, the uh, Ugandan giant, which is a black Same guy that too. can't speak. He's dead. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Kamala, right. They, yeah, they had yeah, to yeah. go over it. They had to tell the Ugandan <laughs> giant to turn. Remember when he would pin a guy and the manager had to come in and tell him to turn him over to pin him? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know that guy was? That guy was from Georgia. He was a truck driver. Yeah. You know that? Yeah, he was just like a regular Southern guy. And he played. He was so racist when they did to him. It was terribly funny, though. <laughs> uh, that was good shit. Yeah, but, uh, the 80s, like, wrestling stereotypes were just all stereotypes yeah. but it was easy for like my eight-year-old brain to understand yeah, right here. you know so I, I was I, at the time i didn't realize it was wrong but i was talking to desi about a bunch of movies that obviously she she missed like revenge of the nerds and yeah, stuff movie. like that and like how extremely not okay those movies are today but how they were just fine Back then, like... Uh, what's, wrong with, what's wrong with Revenge of the Nerds? Okay, so Revenge of the Nerds, the big scene. Like, there's some stuff. They do, like, <gasps> Oh, the black guys and they, at the end. The lamb, the lamb, the oh, lamb, Oh, guys, that's, right? like, the least of it, right? Yeah, oh, really? Yeah, because oh, yeah, yeah. they do, like, classic raids. They go steal girls' underwear. They they film a sorority oh. girls when the, without their knowledge. They sell the photos at a, a <laughs> fair. Um, and then there's, like, a non-consensual scene towards really? the end yeah i forgot about and all like, of that yeah like the guy uh the nerd puts on the costume of uh one of the cheerleaders boyfriends and pretends to be him to have sex with the the oh, like the no. love interest on the show and she thinks it's him and at the end she takes off the mask and she's like oh i kind of must have known it wasn't you but you did such wonderful things to me that i didn't oh, care God. or you're like what is happening and it, so, it sucks because that movie like as a kid as a nerd i was like oh man i love this film I, you know the nerds finally win one. Oh mm. boy did we not win one with that movie you know, God damn. You, you're you're kind of right like nobody talks about that movie anymore and it was a classic yeah for a yeah. while and then yeah, it doesn't. Uh, well, how did American American Pie is more my generation? That's like ten years later, right? Yeah, yeah. So like, how did I that think age? that one stands up a little bit better for sure. Y- yeah, yeah. I That's mean, it would funny. have to, wouldn't it? 
<laughs> Before yeah, we get too far from this subject, I want to on a sp- point out that Kamala actually made a rap album, and it was a diss album to Vince McMahon. It was like 12 songs long. Now, if you don't like what I'm saying, we don't need no ring. It's Kamala time now. Time for me to make a scene. No more tackles. No more leap frogs. No more bear hugs. Yeah. He died with like he died with like no legs or something. He had no, like, he had, he had diabetes really bad and he had his legs cut really off bad. and like he was trying to they there there were people that were like advocating for him to get into the WB Hall of Fame and Vince McMahon to like give him some give him some scratch because of all the years of service he did. And they didn't do it. He didn't do he it. He didn't do it. No. Yes. Like like he at least could pay for his dialysis or some like that. Or something, you know, throw him a bone. A lot of that's Hulk Hogan's fault. You know why? Because when Jesse Juan Ventura wanted to start a um a uh, when Jesse Ventura wanted to start a union, uh, Hogan snitched. And mm-hmm. They were able to like squash the union. Uh, it's it's, fu- it's funny. It's funny because Kamala's mid-line. big push was with Hogan, and Hogan was making hundred thousand dollars. Kamala was making five. Unbelievable, right? Yeah, that's a dirty business. I'm glad Vince is out of it. He's it's long overdue. Not only that, his content he's coming up Dude, with Vince. Is, Vince is looking like like um, God, what's that dude that they ba- they base like Mr. House on? I know Vincent Price looked like him too, but there was a guy that he it just just a business evil genius, and like Vince is looking like that nowadays with that black mustache and the oil black hair. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that that's terrible. a weird look for Vince, man. I hope they added their shows. Are, like, why why did he decide to dress like a 1920s uh, uh, movie villain? What is yeah, happening? Right, right, right as the scandal comes out. <laughs> it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good point. Did you hear that girl claimed he pooped on her? And I, I can't I can't think did he poop on her because it's some kind of weird kink or did because he's an old man did he like poop on her you know <laughs> I can't figure out prostate got a little excited <laughs> couldn't hold the bowels <laughs> oh like no, dog uh, just imagine because he like to be fair and this is gonna this is gonna brand me a little bit but like the girl is 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 a little into this herself she had to know what she goes doing i don't it's know not- i don't think i don't think i used to think that was true too but then i looked into it she was working around um connecticut and her parents died and they came to her and said look you can make a little extra scratch you can be vince mcmahon's secretary so she was so they said yeah it's a great opportunity uh you know because my parents are really sick and they ended up dying too and then they got her they, like they could do whatever they want with her, and she was wasn't willing to say no according to her i mean well, well, i don't well, know it, it, you could say story, no but her- she's like the money that's my thing. Yeah, well, yeah, but I mean, it, there's there's only so far it, 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 wings. There's only so much you can do with that. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah, she could quit, but once they get you halfway through, it's just abuse after that. And I need the money, so I got to do that. It's like it's like it's like servitude for Christ's sake, wings. What's the matter with you? I, I don't. What's the matter with you? Like like first off, I there, believe her story. I, I don't believe a lot of these girls that go. I, I, I believe she's nightingale this month. But like at the same time, it's like she could have walked away at any point, but she chose not to. I don't to. know about that. I don't know. Well, what, uh, you, what do you not know about that? Well, what, 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 they what, they what, weren't what, beating you know, her. What, if her. Well, if, if, if I don't have enough money for my parents, I might be willing to do something disgusting. That's the whole. What I'm saying. Need treatment. That's what I'm saying. Like she, she's, she's a little into this. She has skin in the f-ing game, and everybody's treating yeah, her like for she did. Parents. She might just take it up one for the team. It looked like that's abuse. You. <laughs> I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying, like, like so when you come to the point that you're getting passed around, like Brock Lesnar and all the other WWE superstars, and like, mm. I don't feel like this should be part of my allegedly. contract. Yeah, allegedly. Oh, allegedly. We don't know. Well, you don't know. You don't know. You guys are both f-ing broke. You don't have any f-ing sympathy for this girl. You guys are bastards, both. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she asked for it. Wing said. She was. I didn't say she. Was, I didn't. I did not. Else. I did not say she asked for it. I said. <laughs> yeah, you did. No, 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 no. You're putting words in my mouth. I said she no. knew what she was doing, she and she, she probably doing, didn't have better options. It. And she liked it. I didn't say she <laughs> liked. She, she definitely didn't have better options. I'll get, she I'll didn't get, have I'll better you options. Well, you what you're describing is like classic <laughs> trafficking, right? No, 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 no. no. Classic <laughs> trafficking is when they like get you hooked on heroin, and you need to to get this heroin and they're your only supplier because you ain't got no money that's sex this is yo we got this good stable job if you want to keep this good stable job a little quid pro quo how, how is girl. that different than like i need money for my fucking parents they'll die without this money yeah but she was treatment. doing it way past her parents deaths what yeah i think she was i don't know yeah she's a gold digging whore. you're right no i'm not trying to call her gold digging <laughs> 
I'm trying to say is some people <laughs> will look at their situation and be like, yeah, I could walk away from this and this sucks, but mm-hmm. I this will later. help me get further in life. <laughs> yeah. I think th- there might be criminal charges filed against him. Though. Oh, one hundred percent, there should be. If yeah. nothing oh, yeah. else, at yeah. least civil, at least civil charges. Well, the way I also understand that too, he settled for something, and he decided to pull a, a Vince McMahon and just stop paying her, uh, and then then she went public. They they had the whole thing quashed, right? And then he just stopped paying her, like he stopped paying some territory he bought. He did that a few times at the territories, like he'd buy uh, a wrestling territory, um, come to a deal, and just stop paying them and dare him to dare those territories to sue him. And they never did because they didn't have enough scratch and he knew that. So he just stole the territories. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But like, like how's that going to work with, um, uh, with a girl? Like he just hopes she like, like passes on and like holds to well, her no, word. He, he came to a settlement. Yeah, exactly. Well, cause he's old and he's insane now. Like how, yeah, how that's a good question. Wings. How did he think that? How did he think he get away with that? All she has to do is open her mouth, but he's like, ah, that, won't do a thing. Ah. <laughs> I got this. I've done it before. <laughs> I mean, like he he paid her like one percent of what the XFL lost him. <laughs> you remember the XFL? Lot. Oh, I remember. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Twice I, they tried it. I, I remember. He's like, this is where the winning team gets more money. There's more on the line than the NFL. You know, it's like that. Yeah, right. Blue ass. Yeah, I mean, I was excited good. for the XFL because NFL was kind of boring, and I I thought they were really going to do something with it, and it just they didn't. It was just not I watched good. The first, you know what the cool thing was was that kickoff or the, uh, the the coin toss they did where they just chucked the football and the guys just ran down the field try to fucking scrap for it. Ready, A couple of safeties going to scramble for the right to possession. The hometown hero is on it, but the ball's still alive. That was awesome. They should have kept that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that yeah it's really awesome cool. until like your your twenty two million dollar player gets hurt doing it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll send the kicker out there. <laughs> Speaking of like players, I like you guys know who Madison Bumgardner is. No, who's he? He's a he's a pitcher. They used to pitch for the Giants. I think he pitches for the Diamondbacks now. If he mm. doesn't, I don't know. I don't keep up with him. He's at the twilight of his career. Regardless, mm. he has an insurance policy on his left arm. That's like $10 yeah. million. Dollars. So, like, if he falls and breaks his arm or something, the insurance company has to pay him $10 million. Good. Good for him. I was Good like, man, just imagine have that fucking level of clout. You, you throw, you know, you have a 90, uh, 100 mile an hour fastball. It's worth it. I do have one thing, one mild thing to talk about. So, a lot of people in the subreddit have been talking about Desi being in videos more and Desi being in uh, posting more. And mm-hmm. you know what? I, I want to make sure people fully understand. Uh, we realized after talking to you and after Mary sitting down and talking to her, mm-hmm. whether she wants to have skin in this game or not, I already put her skin in the fucking game. We don't yeah. really have a choice. So we may as well make the best of it. Right. So I agree. We, yeah. We're going to put her in thumbnails. Mm-hmm. We're going to put her in videos. We're going to just get used to seeing her, man. And it's really interesting because she seems to be, embracing it at first she was like really against it for a really long mm. time like nervous about it anxious about it or whatever now she's just like it i can handle it i'll do whatever it takes it's fun it's you know i i'm just i just yeah, yeah. so I, I don't know tommy i think i i think not only i apologize to you already i, I don't know no, i'm not no again. but i the apology i think i owe you a matter of thank you because i think you helped her grow up a little bit yeah yeah and I'm not trying to dig up an old argument that I really wasn't calling her ugly. I was just oh, saying yeah, she looked yeah, like yeah, Sissy yeah. Spacek. And, and I think if I had to guess, Sissy Spacek was a 70s bombshell. You know, I mean, she was, well, she she was probably, smoke, I don't know. She's smoking hot, you know. So um, I'm not trying to talk about your girl that way. Let's, you know, I'm not, let be, let's keep it respectful. But I mean, I like, you know, like, you know, guys want to grow up and be athletes and, and big, strong men. Girls want to be beautiful, you know. So I think once she looked at it that way and then she's probably seen the worst side of the internet just by dating you to begin with yeah like, right and, it's all, and, it's and, all you know, uphill she, from here baby it's yeah, all the, she developed the, she's got the automatic she's got the immunity before she became a low cow so and now it's like well yeah why don't I take advantage of this and in fairness when we film those meta pc commercials yours was the funniest one because of her yeah you know she- Hey, editor, I just retweeted a photo of Sissy Spacek. Put that in there for people to see. That's her right on Prime. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, really, if I'm thinking about that, uh, there there ain't nobody watching this right now that wouldn't be like, yes, please. All right, all right Boogie, mm. look, 
I, I, I'm not, not in the know here, so I'm sure other people aren't as well. Can you break down how you guys met and, and what drove you guys? Like, yeah, let me fly you out here or, or go get you. It's November of 2000, oh, it was a, I guess a year and a half ago. Uh, mm-hmm. It's 2023. Uh, or no, 2022. She wrote me, and I think she'd written me one time before. She's just like, hey, I appreciate your videos. I know you're going through a hard time. Keep it up. And I'd, I'd seen a girl a little bit that year. Her and I broke up, and I ended up checking Instagram, and which I never do. And I saw her message, and I wrote her back. And then she opened up to me a little bit about some of the stuff that she's gone through in her life. Um, she dealt with like some really terrible, abusive people in her life. Not her mother, not her biological father, not her stepfather, but other people. And, uh, she just dealt with some sh- and I thought, Hey, this is somebody I could talk to and help a little bit. And I do that all the time. Uh, I do talk to people who've gone through depression and anxiety, stuff like that. You'll see it on my Twitter feed. I'll DM, I'll slide to DMs to talk to people. And so I gave her the, the usual at a boy, you know, Hey, everything's going to be okay. And I, I, and then for whatever and then reason, she blew you. <laughs> well, but then I felt the connection. So I was like, Hey, do you want to talk off of Instagram and talk more frequently? Oh and she God. says, yes. And so we started you talking. Her up. Yeah, we started. I, yeah, you know. So we started talking every day. And again, I'm not like I don't talk stuff. I don't talk relationship stuff. I'm I'm someone who will show you, you photos of my dog. Pick on dick. She would show me photos <laughs> of her farm. No, God, no. She's uh, she would photo- show me photos of her farms and her animals on the farm and stuff like that. And we just like passed the time and we talked about her recovery and what she was doing and those stages in it and stuff like that. And I talked about the same thing for me. And she never really watched my videos. She was more of a McJuggernuggets kid behind a camera fan. Mm. So she knew me from those videos. So like, I've always been a little weirded out about like dating somebody who watched me, especially growing up. Like that's super, f- <laughs> up, right? But like, she just knew me uh, tangentially from those things. So that made it a little bit easier. Mm. And then one day she's like, hey, I think we're soulmates. And I'm oh, like, really? well, we've been talking off and on for like six months, just as friends or whatever. And she's like, there's a real connection here. I really feel that. And I and definitely want to explore it. Well, you know. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> and I told her, I was like, hey, that's some crazy shit. Uh, mm-hmm. And I don't know how to respond to that. So I backed away for like a week. And at the end of that week. Yeah, you I, wanted her I, to set up. I you really, her, right, yeah. And I yeah, really missed her, her at that point. And I was like, you know, hey, mm. let's talk. I was. It's also the time I was filming the documentary. She told me that right before the doc. Yeah, right. We ended up taking that like, little break or whatever. And then. Uh, I eventually realized I thought she was right. And then eventually I was like, hey, why don't I just come pick you up? And like, you can stay with me at for school. a little while and let's see how it goes. Sure. <laughs> school, yeah. When, She's when, when, like, when's, your, when's the last period? <laughs> <laughs> last. <laughs> She's can I get like, you in the car She's, rider line? <laughs> <laughs> oh god Jesus Christ. but she just lives on the other side of the state basically so i was like you know yeah. all right i'll just go pick her up I so like obviously so like obviously yeah. francis is your character but yeah. in my opinion the francis videos work best in your first marriage how much yeah. was yeah. that how much of that was your was your ex-wife the driving force of in those videos <laughs> she cleaned up afterwards she um, would act in them. She was very anxious and she didn't really know how to act and she didn't like doing it. She actively disliked being behind the camera, on the camera. She never wanted to be public facing. She never wanted to be on social media. She never cared about that. Right, right. So she um, didn't help you with like ideas and like wrote scripts or anything like that? Well, so I would come up with the ideas and then like I would bounce it off of her and she was a really good soundboard and she'd be like, it'd be a little bit funnier if you did this. So she was good at tweaking and she does mm. have her writing degree so she was good at writing. And so like, she'd be like, what if we did it this way? What if we did it this way? Um, and then she was just, she had good timing, whether she wanted to admit it or not. So most of the time her reactions in the videos were just really good and funny. Uh, I think she, no wonder you had to write her such a big check. <laughs> yeah, you, know, you know, I've said it a million she times. She made you <laughs> I, a, a quarter million dollars walked out the front door with her. That's the truth of the matter. <laughs> Um, and, and that was my life savings went out the front door with her. I, that's just the reality of it. But the, she, helped and you don't build, talk bad about her. Like I no, she I, built, I, she I, helped I saw, build the yeah. business. She helped build the business. There's nothing else I can say bad or she helped build mm. the business and the business went to, sh- um, as, as well as my mental health and my, my you know, my brain, uh, after she walked out the door and you know, and you I never, did, you, you never bad mouth her. That thing gets me. Cause I, the only reason I don't bad mouth my ex-wife is, uh, cause, uh, I have court a daughter documents. and she's, <laughs> She's got yeah she well it's it I got a daughter and I don't 
but she's almost 18, and I'm thinking about starting to badmouth her in a year or two. <laughs> Here's the thing, though, Tommy, with that. Like, badmouth her, yeah. she's still your daughter's mother. Yeah, like, you if, you, if, you, if you start to badmouth yeah. her, you're setting what? a bad example of men, and you should be the... Should be the oh, example. Really? I'll be a bigger man. <laughs> no, 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 no. As a father, you should be an uh, example. All my Iraq money. Oh, my kid hates me too. So it doesn't. <laughs> I won't be burning any bridges. Really. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least burn, set one up for Tommy. Like, look, these people did me wrong, and I'm still nice to them. That makes me a bigger person. I, yeah, I remember, yeah, I, yeah, I've yeah. never, but I've never been a bigger person. I'm a very, very small, petty man. <laughs> you know, yeah, that's why they put me with you two fatzos. You'd realize that, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I thought King put it's, put you with us because he, we thought he thought we were more locals than we actually are. Uh, he put me with you because he knows I'm a prick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was a good match, honestly, because you're fun to fight with. I said this to you privately, but like at the end of the day, I appreciate everything you bring to the show. But it's fun to yell at you. What'd you also, say, I don't, I don't actually hate you guys too, so I can, I can hate your bullshit. Not hate you, and I don't think I don't think a lot of people can do that. No, like, no, like, like I, yeah, I hate your, I, what you say. I don't hate you. Like, I don't get like I like I love the wings channels. Don't get me wrong, and I like I'm kind of like, but in a weird way, it, the the stuff that embarrassed um, wings the most is the stuff I like the most. But I never felt any sort of like weird hatred uh, that a lot of these guys feel. I just laughed. Like, I thought it was so funny when guys were just like team killing him and shit. I just I, I, watching his reactions. It that, made me like, it's funny, you'd be surprised, Wings, like how much those videos made people actually like you. You know, and I was one of those guys. I'm, I'm pretty sure that I'm not um, the only guy. With Boogie, it's more, um, it, it's funny to see, like I literally watched Boogie's entire career because uh, I actually, um, I got fooled by the Francis video. I thought it was legit. Hell yeah. Until it was on Ray William Johnson, right? Yeah. And yeah, so yeah. I, I kind of watched Boogie like, come from like as well because like you started for the same reasons i did you just really like being on youtube right yeah, I, yeah, like yeah, we all we, we both we i think all three of us had like humble beginnings in the sense that we love what they did you know it's all about the money for wings now and he hates video well, games I, I, it was then too mo <laughs> <laughs> but I think, don't, don't, I mean, don't give me a pass we really we really appreciated the, the, the technology and what you could be doing with it and all this the magic like that that uh i i, I do i have a channel that has only 300 subs by the way Right, uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna th throw it out there, and it's like a uh, passion project, right? I I got that old feeling again, like the beginning, like I don't have to worry about a check. I'm just doing it for YouTube reasons. So like, I, I liked you because you had the same attitude I did, but then you became a millionaire and blew it all, and that's yeah, funny yeah, yeah. to me too. Hey, I was never a millionaire. <laughs> oh, you never a millionaire? No, not even close. I never did. You should have. No, 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 yeah. no. I'm a, you were close. I mean, yeah, yeah if you, during that if one you were, night it, before crypto, before that one night, the most no, I was ever worth, the most I was ever worth, my house was worth about a quarter million, and mm -hmm. jointly we had about $400,000 in savings and investments. And so at million. one point I was worth maybe 600000 The second closest I came to it, uh, no, the, I guess the actual closest I came to it really was when the crypto was up for one night. And for one mm -hmm. night I went to bed, my house was worth a quarter million, and I went to bed. And my my savings said like seven fifty, and I'm like, holy shit, I'm a millionaire. That's why I made the video. Like, oh, I'm 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 finally financially yeah, yeah. secure, everybody. <laughs> I'm fine. Turn that, set, turning that camera on, you should have been taking it out of the fucking crypto. No <laughs> shit. Hey, here's another brilliant thing. I really this keeps me up at night. Here's what I could have done. I could have just set a threshold and had it auto sell if it went to a certain low point, and I didn't do it because I didn't know what the guy was, was doing. I, I would because I would lose sleep idiot. at night on that one. Oh, I, I do. So oh, I do every night. Oh, you know, you're laying in, video. The, in bed with your Bane mask on. Oh, you want to know why I eat myself to death? Because I didn't fucking set a cell limit. <laughs> do you know um your your video? I'm um I'm financially set for like came in my docket, and I jokingly said it'll last a week. Right? Yeah, it, it like didn't three. even it last like three. It, it didn't like even three. last. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't think I don't think it lasted a week. I was quiet it about it. A week. I, yeah. I literally, I literally, I literally said, "Ah, that'll last a week." I'll up. And yeah. then I got the video of like maybe you know, it's a bit. I don't know if you, I don't I know thought if you, it was a bit. I don't you know, know if you I thought about this though, Boogie. Those dudes that you bought all that crypto off of were the guys that are actually making the smart move before it of course to the ground of course jesus <laughs> christ and the worst part about it is the worst part about it is it, it 
and Ethereum hit a record high earlier this year, but I had to sell coins to get the money just to exist off of and to pay for like mortgage and stuff. And so like at the end of the day, if I was able to hold on to it, I would have probably been okay. Yeah, the uh, next guy's okay off your shares. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, here's the thing. I made a rich guy considerably richer, so at least I can sleep at night knowing that. Did you guys see that GameStop went up again, and they instead of like yeah, letting they... the market do what the market does, they decided to take it off the market? What? <laughs> no, yeah, they yeah, delisted GameStop off the stock market because of uh, Wall Street Bets pumped the stock up again. Oh, yeah. my God, they delisted it? They Stonks delisted GameStop. Back. Wow. Hey, when the Stonks. hunter becomes the hunted, you outlaw hunting. <laughs> Yeah, they <laughs> there you go. There you yeah. go. Those rich bastards, they are they're never gonna lose. Yeah, it's, they don't it's, like it's, it when you play lose. the game, y'all. You ain't no, allowed to play. No. It's the if same it's playing? the same shit they be doing to people their whole fing lives. They you know, <laughs> pumping a stock up, get boogie to buy it, and then drop it, and then it falls into nothing <laughs> after they've already sold. You ain't allowed to play the game, but if you're playing, no, it's because they know you're gonna lose. That's exactly yeah. it. hundred ten percent. I really wonder what the difference between the stock market and Vegas is sometimes. Oh, it, it's very little. In, um, you ever see Blackjack? Yeah, you, you, you ever see, seen in, um, I think it's Trading Places, and, you know, they take, the idea is to take, like, some random black guy off the street that's homeless. Oh, I love that and movie, make yeah. him, And make him, a, make him a day trader. Yeah. And so they, because and they, they, they figure they can make any, any, anybody can make money in this business if they're, they got the right people and they're, they're taught the right things. And they, they explain the business to Eddie Murphy, who's, like, the homeless black guy. And uh, he says, do you understand what we're doing? And he looks at me and goes, Sounds to me like you guys are a couple of bookies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you're right. He's not wrong. They're bookies. You He's know, like, are you sure thing. what we're doing isn't illegal? He literally <laughs> says that. <laughs> and it, and it, <laughs> it should be. That good movie's brilliant. Yeah, really you ever is. seen, uh, like, Blackjack's the one game that's considered, like, the, that you have the highest chance to win. Yeah, the highest chance. You, you're still going to lose. But, but yeah, even then, have you ever seen, like, the rules on the table? Like, you know, they got to stand yeah. on 17, and if the dealer sure. gets Blackjack and that. It's like it's it's all rigged toward the house. There was a period where I watched so much Boss Man Jack that I mm. wanted to like I want to try this. You know this steak mess where it's like he turns fifty dollars into like two thousand. I'm like let me do that once. I'm like I, I'm like no, Jordy, you don't do that. No. You don't no. do that. You wouldn't no. smoke crack. No. Don't do this. No. You know so I'm like I'm didn't do it. I just didn't do it because I know myself I'd get hooked to it. Of I'm course like, you yeah. would. Walk away. You know, you think about it. Gambling is like the worst addiction. Like, um, you can get off of I can get off. You can even, in some cases, get off of heroin. You can't, like, with gambling, it's gambling's everywhere. You know? You can go places where there's no You know what I mean? You can't go I anywhere. Wonder, I wonder gambling. why gambling, like, like statues have been loosened in America. Money? It's a like, good I, question. When Money? I was a kid... When I was a kid in South Carolina, you couldn't buy alcohol on Sunday, and there was nope. no gambling whatsoever. Been now there's too. gambling on TV, YouTube. Like if you're watching a sporting event, they'll tell you like, "Hey, it's the sixth inning. If you put, here's the odds, put your money yeah, in yeah. this." You know. Yeah, yeah. And they Europeanized it because when I moved here, you can't go anywhere. Like uh, the bookies, you can be a bookie. That could be a career here in Europe. And there's literally like I could. Ten minute walk, I can be at a bookie and gambling right now, right there and then, anytime on any sport in the world going on, and I just hang out with all these losers with cigarettes and just stare at the screen like a moron and watch my money disappear. Yeah, and it's everywhere. So when the states, when I started hearing about what they're doing in the states and stuff like that, I, I realized they just they kind of gave in, and uh, yeah, it's like my father called like the lottery and gambling a tax on the poor. Because that's, mm. that's all it attracts. Oh, it attracts that is exactly what it is. Yeah. It's a tax on the poor. It really an is. Idiot tax, so, yeah. Yeah, it's tax, an idiot tax. Yeah, it's an idiot tax. Yeah. Like, 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 I, like, I, I love guys that buy um, like 50 lottery tickets. Do you know how much that increases your odds? It doesn't. None. Zero percent. It yeah. None. Zero. Like, well, it's like it's measurable, but it's like point something percent. And you got, so you literally gave them $50 and you have the same odds if you just get one ticket. So, like, getting one ticket is fine. There's nothing I really want. It's a buck. What are you going to lose? You know, a buck investment and a potential $10 million payoff? Okay, sure. You know, right? But you know, you're buying 50 tickets and you, you, you read some book on how to, how to game the system and stuff like that. And you, next thing you know, you're fucking broke. Well, <laughs> it's funny we're talking about lottery because I had something happen to me this week that I haven't really told much people oh, about. Oh, no. Oh, how much? how much? I was going to the store. And if you've ever been to a convenience store in America, you know that the lottery tickets hold the fucking line up. Of course, yeah. So, so I went and got my death drink, and I got my candy bar and whatever 
and won't not stand in line. And in front of me was like this 80 year old man and he's buying his lottery tickets. So he's taking his time. He's picking them out and yes. man <laughs> kills over and has a heart attack right in front of me. No, no he just 100%. The right I there. Would have, I would have took those tickets because you got no, 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 no. I had to catch the mother. <laughs> I had I dropped my coke in the floor. I had to catch him, and like it didn't kill him right Imagine. away either. So like now I got to now I got to be like the dude there, and like I have, I'm CPR trained, but I panicked, so I didn't think about doing CPR. <laughs> <laughs> but luckily, yeah, I know he had a winning lottery ticket. He but, had, oh God, but luckily, he's kind of the you killed fire that man. Was, you could have saved he, his he, ass. He didn't die. He didn't die. Okay, good. All right, what's to say? He he, 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 did, he late, didn't die. That but uh, luckily, the volunteer <laughs> fire department was like four minutes down the road. Good, yeah. <laughs> but like, yeah, it's I have a picture. I have a picture I can put in here of the event, just to show I'm not bullshitting. But like, yeah, yeah I want to see that. I want to see that bad. Man had a heart Let's attack in front of me. I had to catch him. If he, he's eighty, if he if he fell in that hard floor, he probably killed himself. Just yeah. hit his head. <laughs> he fell into your belly. <laughs> it's exactly sauce. It's like it's like landing on a bouncy castle. He's. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Yeah, I was seen, like, the sh- seen, but... get into because like I, my, sometimes yeah. I, I'd be telling my wife, sh- and I'd be like, well, how are you always in these situations? Where like you're the person that has to stop these people? Because like I, I had a guy flip his tr- car in front of me a couple years ago. Tell us that yeah. one. I don't know about that. Um, same concept. Um, I live real close to a convenience store, like less than a quarter mile. So, like, there's a curve that goes around. It's not close. Uh, it's close. It's close when you get a car. It's close by hillbilly stand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's walking. To, you can walk a quarter mile. You got but, it. Uh, but there's a curve that goes around my road, and then you go to a stop sign, and there's the store, right? Well, yeah. I went to the store and I came back. I was coming back to my house. And on that curb, this guy is like texting and driving and he, he panics and loses and oversteers. And he's in like this Nissan Quest van. And like it goes right in front of my pickup truck and hits the tree and then flips over onto its top. And I'm the first person there. I had to slam on brakes because he, he almost hit me. And now I, I had to I, I carry a crowbar in the truck and I end up getting this guy out by like prying the door open with a crowbar. And then did you really, the, really, yeah, really. Jesus Christ! And then the guy is illegal. Like he's he's like a five foot six. Turn him into ice. Dude. Do your American duty. Yeah, yeah. Dude. Well, he was bleeding. <laughs> he, like, like I literally, I literally have a picture of that I can show too. We could. I don't want my tax well. money. No, I don't want my tax dollars going to that guy. And like I literally <laughs> took a picture of this guy. He's bleeding out of the head. His van's overturned in the background, and like. Um, mm. Uh, and he's trying to get me to take him back home. He's trying. No, he's trying to get me to take him back home. He don't want me to call nine one one. I'm like, I'm already on the phone with him, bud. <laughs> and like, Please don't like call he's 911. so. Yeah, don't he's like, he can barely speak English, and he like he gets in, he jumps in the woods and runs off. So I'm sitting there waiting so on the. <laughs> The highway patrol to come. I swear like, to God, there was a Mexican bleeding out of his head here. No, that's yeah, why right, I took right, a picture. Yeah. I, I literally, I took a picture because he was talking about running. <laughs> it's like, Good God, but I can put I can put that here too. Is North that's Carolina so the Wild West or some shit? I'm the South yeah. Carolina boy. Don't don't don't. The South me. Carolina, that's right. Yeah, yeah. you Southerners are weird. All the weird shit. North Carolina was took over by hoodlums. South Carolina was owned by the king. Is that why the soccer team? Has a they have like a crown and a uh, a throne after the game? I don't know. We don't have. Well, they, they do we have soccer the, in South Carolina? King. Yeah, you do. Um, Charlotte FC. No, no, well, um, and they they like they have this thing where they have a throne. It's like the gayest thing ever, and that's like part of their tradition. You like sit in the throne if you get man of the match. Well, no, no, South what? Carolina was owned. By, I, I'm almost certain South Carolina was owned by England at the time, or like yeah. by the crown, and then like they own both of them, but like uh, barbarians are like. Not so much barbarians, but like uncivilized, less British people took over and controlled the colony. And instead Catholics. of fighting it, <laughs> instead of fighting it, like they, they kind of like let them control the colony and they split Char- it. How far are you from Charlotte? Are you in the same state? Three hours. Charlotte's in North Carolina. All right. Yeah. So you have you have a team for sure. hundred percent. Well, every like oh. with Carolinas, it's always the Carolina something. Carolina Panthers, the Carolina Hornets. No, nah, it's, it's just it's just it's Charlotte FC. Yeah. Charlotte that's FC. North Carolina. That's another state. Oh, so okay, that's the wrong state. All right. Yeah, 
but like we, we, okay. like we had the Carolina Hurricanes, which is a hockey team, and it's like okay, yeah. they, they they do that so they can get people from South Carolina to feel pride in it and go to the games. You mean the the, the Whalers wouldn't have worked? That's what they used to be called, by the way. What they were the Hartford Whalers? Oh, the Hurricanes used to be the Whalers. Yeah, here you go, Hartford yeah. Whalers. Yeah, <laughs> I guess they couldn't call them the Whalers. I was thinking, unless you guys didn't have another subject, that we could play a trivia game to see how stupid you guys are. Oh, I'm dumb as shit. Let's go. Who, who do you who do you think stupider? Like, let's let's play the game. Me. Uh, it, it all depends. You, all right, you're putting. It depends. It, it well, all depends. Gonna, um, like okay. entertainment I, I, and sports, I pretty much got you. But if you talk me told me about some like literature. Hmm. I know. Yeah, I know some literature. I know no geography. Like, I had a conversation with my roommate once, and I'm like, I couldn't find Germany on a map. And he goes, really? He's, he's like, don't you need to know? I'm like, it's never coming up, Chad. You, you can't the, find Germany I ever need to know on where a map? Germany is. Why would I need to know? I, why would I need to know? Make that make <laughs> I mean, sense. I know where I mean, Canada like, is. I know where Mexico is. I might be to one of those. I'm never going to Germany. See, like, I'm good with Europe until you get to those small countries just outside of, like, the Ukraine. I know where like, the, I, I might know mess where, some of those up. I know Eastern where Britain Europe. is. I know where Europe. Italy is. Those are pretty f-ing obvious. I know where Russia is. You know, I could tell like, you. I could, Germany, I, France, all the sh- in the middle. I don't know. Why I couldn't I tell you. Well, like, I couldn't tell you like a lot of the African countries. Like I, I like I know like Chad's one and like Nigeria's one. Well, I know where Nigeria is, but it's like I would mess some of them up. Like, is this the Congo? No, I'm not going to give you. All right. <laughs> How about this? All right. Let's start. Uh, we'll do. Uh, you want to do a coin flip? Uh, heads or tails? Tails. Uh-oh. Heads. Heads. Boogie says heads. I'm going to decide because I have a Euro coin. They don't have a head on here. So I'm going to say the, I'm going to say the, I don't know, the numbers heads. So, all right, that's where I go. Here we go. So Boogie says heads. I'm running over my headset. Here we go. Uh, uh, heads. It is. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Maybe we can get a score counter in the uh, thing. So this is the official... Who's dumber, um, Boogie or me? Jesus Christ, my chair is running over my... Uh. I honestly think <laughs> we've done trivia twice now. I've won one and Boogie's won one. Boogie's yeah, won one. Oh, sh- do a few this is the tiebreaker. This is the one. This is the tiebreaker. Okay, Boogie. Mm-hmm. What substance has the chemical formula HCI? Hydrochloric, hydrochloric acid? Correct. Nice. That's one. All right. I paid attention to science class. I like science a lot. All right. right. This is, these these sound easy so far because you guys are into like, oh, you're getting medical problems. But I'm going to give this one to Wings. What would you suffer from with hypertension? Hypertension. Uh, Anxiety? Low blood pressure. (laughs) <laughs> I was about to say, can I steal I, that one? No, I don't have, one I, IQ my blood's good. That's what like, we'll do. We'll do IQ points. <laughs> yeah. so you're plus one IQ point. You got one IQ point. All right. I got 61 this IQ now. One. This I one's you. for, um, um, oh, this one's, oh, this, uh, I, see, I want to give you stuff that you, you might not get. How many eyelids does a cat have on each eye? How many eyelids? Yeah. Yeah, they got two. One on top, one on bottom. Wrong. Three. Three. Zero IQ. That's what it says here. What? How many Three? eyelids does a cat have on each eye? Yeah, yeah, because it has one. It has eyelids under the eyelids under the eyelids. Oh, I didn't realize that. I thought yeah. I had like a bottom of. Oh wow, that's fascinating. So you have zero IQ points in. Yeah. In, 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 in Wait, well, what about my first question though? I got, I got, no, I got the first one right. You lose a point. You get, you get okay, possibly you zero. Oh, you okay, I'm back now down to zero. zero. Okay, points. okay, gotcha. Zero and then, all right. Let's see if you can get zero uh, wings. How many moons does Mars have? Three. Two, you dummy. Minus two IQ points. The only one I know is the one from Doom. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, What birds do Chinese and Japanese fishermen commonly use? Seagulls? I don't even know how to say this, but you're wrong. Albatross? Carmorants? I'll put it in the chat. Carmorants? I don't even know what that is. That was a bad question. You know what? I'm not giving you. That one doesn't count. I don't yeah, know. That okay. was just a, a bad question. I, I, know what a com- I couldn't tell you what comrade is. You showed it to me. A picture. Comrade, I don't yeah, know. I, I don't, that was I, either. I, but I, I would still me. eat it. I would still eat it. Yeah, yeah, me too. Clear. What element has the chemical sim- symbol K? Is, wait, is that... Isn't that gold? No, it's not gold. What, el- yeah, gold? what element has the chemical symbol K? It's not gold. Your, is it, I, my guess was gold. Is, it, which, is that your final answer? Yeah, is it gold? It's potassium. 
Oh, that's, that's potassium. Yeah. Minus one. Minus yeah. one. Big dummy. Man, we All got right. two t- table of elements questions in five. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here you go, Wings. What are scientists hoping to cause when they seed a cloud? What are uh, when they seed a cloud? Rain. Yeah. Oh, jeez, that's so easy. Right. You're right. You're correct. It's rain. Yeah. What else was it going to fucking do? What are they jerking <laughs> off in a cloud and trying to get it pregnant? What else is we're it going to do? We're tied, yeah. Boogie. What else do you want a cloud to do? What else Tied. do clouds do? How many chromosomes does an elephant have, Boogie? Good lord. I do not know this one. I don't know how many chromosomes <laughs> does a person have. Everybody knows. I know Everybody I've got an that. extra chromosome. That's all I know. Okay. Yeah. Well, no, what's, um, your, what's your... What? 32. Jesus, Boogie, you're wrong. Um, 56. <laughs> <laughs> you could have just made a number up and I'd be like, all right, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I get how many chromosomes zero, zero. does an elephant yeah, get? Jordy no, gets, what do clouds do? <laughs> Holy, is this stats? I'm at negative one. I'm at negative one. You're at negative one? I think Boogie's right. at negative you're one, negative one and what he's at, he's at negative two? No, I got one right. I'm at negative one. All right. All right. I Wait, got one right. Ready? You got one right? I yeah, we both five. got one right. It's negative one each. I don't know. The editor negative will get one. it. The editor will get it. The editor will get it. All right. A group of lizards is called what? A group of lizards? A group of lizards is called what? This is a scientific name. I have no fucking clue. <laughs> lounge. A lounge. It's a lounge. Lounge lizard is also a 19. Yeah. Uh, I, was, I was trying uh, to think of something funny because I was thinking about lot lizards. <laughs> I was like, you should have just said lot. That would have been funny, at least. Yeah. Lounge yeah. is also a 1900s term for what refers to as a well-dressed man who works to seduce wealthy women in bars. A lounge lizard. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I think you need to go to are you smarter than a fifth grader questions here soon. I don't know. I, I like these questions. I think it's funny. You don't know anything. <laughs> Boogie. Yes, sir. A smack is one of seven names for a group of what aquatic animal? A smack of a smack, S M A C. A smack of smack roll. Jellyfish. Oh, jellyfish! Really? Jellyfish. That, that's weird. I never heard that one either. Yeah, never heard of that either. What is a community of ants called? A community of ants? Mm-hmm. Oh, 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 oh! Is it a phase? Let me check. It's a colony, dummy. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's so. Yeah, I didn't know. That. I, I. I knew that, but I also didn't know it. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, I have a medical question. Is that to make it more fair for you, Boogie? A what? medical what? question. A medical question. Oh yeah, you, give us, give me that, reality. give me uh, that good stuff. All right, all right. What medical term is used to describe the process of sweating? Oh, sh- right on the tip of my tongue. It is a. It's known. As, it's. Oh, God. I've never. And I do it all the time. I sweat constantly. I'm sweating right now just because I'm fat. It's, uh, I don't know. Hydros. H Y D R O S. That would not have been my guess. <laughs> yeah, I was not going to get that. You were going to get that one? No. How about this one, Wings? Hydros is a medical term for what? <laughs> Sweating. <laughs> Correct! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I lose my fucking mind! Oh, That's really my obvious. God. I'm the best, boy. I'm the best. That's two. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm losing my What is a group of porcupines called? Uh, <laughs> a, a poke of porcupines. You know, the first thing I thought about was, like, wonder what they taste like. <laughs> Mmm. Yeah, what is a group of porcupines? A poke of porcupines. A, a, what, what's your final answer? A poke of porcupines. A poke of, no, it's a prickle. A prickle? Oh, oh you were Get close. Oh, yeah. You were yeah. kind of close. I, mean, I was trying to think funny. of old timey words that made sense, right? Like poke, you know? But yeah, <laughs> a prickle, that's good. Wings, food question. Oh, yeah. Tomatoes originate from which continent? Uh,. Uh, da, 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 Nepal. No continent, you dipshit. <laughs> what? what continent's Nepal in? I'm You're in North Africa. America. I'm oh. in Europe. 
Oh, you know. it's uh, it's Asia. Eh. Made of originally origin in South America, which oh, I was uh, gonna say Europe. It's name, I thought, yeah, I thought it was Europe too. So, uh, the Aztecs apparently invented them, and they thought that okay. was poisonous because red things generally weren't safe to eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah they weren't. Yeah, for the longest time, they wouldn't eat that. What My did the Italians eat before? Wrong, then, because I was just sitting <laughs> on the street the other day, and I read that like all these fruit, all these food groups came from like Mount, like Tibetan monks in Nepal, and tomatoes yeah. I'm sure was on one. I think you read a lot of pillbilly bullshit. Yeah. Boogie. Yes, what is the long? What is the longest nerve in the human body? The longest nerve in the human. I know body? this one. It's the the spinal nerve, isn't it? No, it's the sciatica. Give That's that to one of the wings. The sciatica wings, is wings, the wings nerve. gets a point. <laughs> the sciatica one is the the spinal one. The sciatic nerve is the. The, the sciatic answer. nerve is the spinal <laughs> one. Yeah. That wings is right. You lose. That is the <laughs> right. That is the, I get wings. How many sides does a trapezoid have? A trapezoid? Uh, yeah. Four. Correct. Boy, wings are pretty smart. Jesus, yeah. what's wrong with you, Boogie? Wait, what? Dory? What? But uh, uh, what is this? Name a shape, Jordy. <laughs> Can you name a shape? What is a color? What the? F <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I got, I got an easy one for you. <laughs> what is the correct term for a group of whales, Boogie? It's called the Lol Cow Live Show, right here, <laughs> which you were you watching. I actually, I actually knew this. Wings. What device was Alexander Graham Bell working, which led him to the invention of the telephone? Okay, so what was Alexander Graham working on, and, and he just stumbled onto the telephone? Oh, um... This is interesting. It's kind of obvious. I see it in my head. It's like... It's, it's you're like close. A, you, yeah. you, you, you're close already, I can tell. Yeah, no, I know. I don't know the word for it. It's like a radio. You're close. No. Is that your yeah. final answer? Or you, come on, you can I say it? Because I you can't yeah, say go for it. it. Can you let you hate it? It's okay. the telegraph. Wrong. Yeah. Hearing what? aid. Take one. Take take another one away from Boogie. No! Um, Why the? <laughs> no! I, I see it in my head because I, I see him like hitting that thing and like it goes across the wire and they're like, oh, thank. We can get a voice to travel through this. Here we go. We have animal questions for you both, to be fair. Uh, wings, Amazon river dolphins are what color? Amazon river dolphins? Yeah. I'm going to go with gray. Pink. Pink. And, and pink. also, I want to know what they taste like. Because that sounds <laughs> amazing. I, I've never even heard of an Amazon river dolphin. Boogie. Yeah. Which fish, previously thought to be extinct, was rediscovered in 1939? Oh, it's the, the, the big thing with the fucking... It's so ugly. It's so ugly. It's the thing with the, 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 I don't know. I'm just going to say Barracuda. I know that's not correct. Uh, 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 mine was not wrong. Click the link. Let me see here. Oh, Amazon River Dolphin? Look at that picture. Uh, what color is that motherfucker? Pink. You see it pink all over his nose. He's, he's got pink on his nose and stuff. That, yeah. he's got pink on his... You wouldn't look at this picture and be like, this is a pink animal. This is a gray animal. Yeah, it's it's other, clearly other pink. It. Show it, it, editor. It's clearly pink. pink. <laughs> yeah, it's pink. Yeah. Why? You try to cheat. What's the matter I'm with you? You're cheating me. You're cheating me. That's what you're cheating. <laughs> oh, who's next? Was what was turn. the fish? That oh, was I couldn't thought say previously it. Thought so it, it. Take a point away from Boogie. I can't pronounce the fish. You have to say that. If he can't pronounce it, try. You have to try. <laughs> you got it wrong anyway. If you're not working. <laughs> what is the net? Thought what did you do? Spell it. Uh, I already switched the page. I don't know. I couldn't. Oh, I fucking hate, hate you. Too hard. I hate you. I hate this. <laughs> All right. Oh. It's wings, wings' turn. Wings' turn. I got a hard one for you, Wings. You ready? Yeah. How many wings does a butterfly have? Four. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Why? Well, no. Why? Really yeah. How many <laughs> wings? <laughs> I hate this game. You would have said two, Boogie. You would have said two. I was going to say. I actually was going to say six for some reason. Oh, really? <laughs> you got yeah, it wrong. I was, anyway. I was going to get wrong anyway. You know. Thank you, Pokemon, uh, for being anatomically right, I, I got. I got an easier one. That was pretty easy. I'll give you an easier one for you. What name is given to rain with particularly low pH? What the? <laughs> Can I take a guess? That's acidic rain, though. Mm. It just, it, it just, it's what's acidic rain. What it's acidic rain. Oh, acid rain, you're correct. Acid rain. Yeah! I, 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 I was about to spurt it up, no, but it's right. acid rain. 
He actually yeah. Yeah, 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 no, he's right. Yeah, no, he's right. I, I can't I can't I am a I'm a, a fair person. Boogie gets a point. Now he's like minus twenty or something. Yay. <laughs> Deduct five good, points good, for being fat. Good, All right. good, good luck, editor. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, I, I think we're gonna do the last one for both of you. These are I think these guys I think these are unfair. Most of these most life unfair, is unfair for both of them. Especially the Amazon know? River Dolphin. Wings. All right, all right, I got one for you. I got one for you, Wings. What is a baby kangaroo called, Wings? A Joey. Yeah, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Obviously. All right all right. all right, all right. Tell you what, tell you what. I was a little hard on Boogie. I'm gonna give you a question. If you get this, you automatically win the game. How about that, Boogie? You like those rules? <sighs> I'm as better no than the alternative. You are, no matter how far you are. You're going to get it. You're going to win the game. Okay. All right. All right. What hormone allows cells in your body to absorb sugar from your blood? Uh, uh, oh, why can't I? That's obviously the in, uh, in insulin. Oh, f you got it. Yeah, obviously it's insulin. You just asked an ex diabetic an insulin. Uh, <laughs> you got your diabetic. Yeah. That was easier than the Joey one. <laughs> Yeah, you, baby! You're a loser, Wings. You should have got oh. more of them right. Oh. <laughs> all, right. Oh. all right, everybody. Thanks for part of being a part of Local Live. We'll see you next week. I guess we got the Friday show now, and we got a Sunday, and we got a Tuesday show, and, of course, this one right here. Like a full I appreciate job. you being right. <laughs> yeah, it really, yeah, yeah, kind of is. Shit. This is the hardest yeah. I've worked in my life. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> Thanks Bye, for being a part. Guys. Thanks for all your patience. All the best. And good night.